So we're going to be ask, answering a viewer's question. Uh, it's going to be containing to uh, Blender 2.5 beta. I'm working with Blender 2.56. Uh, the viewer's name is Run Escape Botter 11, and uh, he says, "How do you open the Sketch tool?" And I think I know what he's talking about. I think he's talking about uh, when you open up the UV editor. So let me uh, change this main window here to the UV editor by clicking on this little icon right here and going up to UV image editor and here we are with the UV image editor now we can open up an image but let's just create a new one we'll click new uh, it has some settings here we'll change the background color to white so we just get a white canvas to work on so I'll click OK and there we go we have a white canvas to work on but how do you draw on here well you can see right here there's a little button and when you hover over it, it says enable image painting mode you click that and you can see your cursor has a little circle like a brush now and if you click and you try to draw, nothing happens. Why? Because you are drawing in white on a white background. So let's uh, see how do we open up our brush tools. Well, if we come down here to view, we have a properties option, which is also, as you can see here, the shortcut key is N. So I'm just going to hover over here and hit N, and you can see it opens up a whole bunch of useful tools for you. And right here is the color option. So I'll change this to like a blue, and now you can see I can draw in blue. Now you have a brush size here, so you can change the brush size. Uh, but also, if you've used uh, Photoshop or GIMP, uh, your bracket keys, which uh, on uh, keyboards in the U.S. anyway, are over just uh, just kind of above the Enter key. And if you hold down the bracket key on the left, it gets smaller. If you hold down one right, it gets bigger. So that's a little bit easier. You can see real time your brush changing size rather than come over here and changing the size and coming over here changing the size so that's a little bit of brush options there you know colors you got strength jitter now you have uh, mixed modes so let me change this to like a red color and uh, so blend is basically like layer effects if once again you're familiar with uh, layer effects in video editing or in an image manipulation program like GIMP you'll have layer effects this is basically the same thing we can do add so now I'm drawing. It doesn't look like I'm drawing anything because it's adding to white, which is giving me white. But when I go over the blue, you can see it's it's adding the blue, uh, the red that I'm painting with to the blue that's already there and giving me kind of a pink color. If we go subtract, it's kind of doing the opposite. If we do multiply, it does multiply effects and so forth and so on. You got a few other options there. Uh, so what else do we have down here in options? We have a texture mode. So let's click new and it creates a texture which by default is the uh, cloud texture that you get in, in Blender and you can modify that in the uh, texture editing window. Uh, but as you can see now when I go to draw, it's actually drawing with that texture. Let me make my brush bigger here and I'll just kind of click here in place and you can see it's drawing with the cloud tool as a brush so it's using that texture. I'm going to turn that off just by killing it there. I'm going to go down to draw. Haven't really messed with that much or really at all. Looks like we have some paint tools here. Uh, soft and smear clone which I haven't messed with these. I'm not going to in this tutorial but I'm going to show you some other paintbrush options here in a moment. Uh, paint strokes and space between strokes and paint curves I haven't messed with myself. I actually haven't used uh, I haven't used this uh, these options actually up until about five minutes ago when the person asked the question and I just started messing with it. Um, but if I come back up here, let me change my paintbrush to green here. And if I click right here in this big open area, you can see it gives me paintbrush options. It's really no pictures for the icons, but you can see the names there. We have brush, so I can paint with a brush, which we've already been doing. You have clone. Uh, which I'm sure somehow you can click somewhere uh, like in, in GIMP or Photoshop. It's usually, I think, control click and then you can clone an object. That doesn't work. I'll have to look up what that does. I mean, I know what it does, but what key I'd have to press or how do I enable that. We got draw and then we got smear. So you can smear the image. So you have some very basic uh, um, painting tools here that you can paint over an image or create your own little texture. And that's just a quick look at uh, sketching inside the UV image editor. I uh, hope this answered your question. Run Escape Botter 11. And uh, I 
had fun playing with it myself and might use this more in the future. I've seen some people do some real neat things inside uh, here in tutorials on YouTube. I just haven't messed with it much myself. I'm more likely to go out to GIMP if I'm going to do something in there just because uh, it's a little more powerful and has uh, I'm a little more comfortable with it because I've been using it longer. But uh, if it can be done in here and you don't have to X out to another program, really we should be using it. So I'll be looking into it more in the future. So thank you for asking. Once again, user, uh, viewer, uh, run escape botter 11. And I hope everyone enjoyed the tutorial. Uh, please visit the links in the description. And I hope that you all have a great day. And visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K.